shield. The ball, you can hit the ball with the chest easy. Four three. And now four seven. guys understand there is no left? <laughs> All right. Okay. A5. Five game ball. Obtaining citizenship should be easy, but it's not. Issues such as time out of the country, past DUI convictions, and other... Obtaining citizenship should be easy, but it's not. Issues such as time out of the country, past DUI convictions, and other minor criminal convictions can cause serious problems. These problems lengthen the process and can increase the complexity. On the other hand, I have had clients who have obtained citizenship through a parent and didn't know it. My name is Joe Rosen. My immigration law offices have helped many people like you successfully get through the citizenship application process. Our focus is immigration, and as a former FBI agent and a lawyer, I know how government agencies operate. My knowledge and experience will make dealing with the Department of Homeland Security 
easier for you and could be the difference between getting citizenship or not. Call me at 678-461-6046 to make an appointment for a consultation. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back live courtside. Nathan Tico on the right, serving to begin the second game. He leads the match one game to love. Over Chris Devecchio, who just hit the cross court right there. Nathan is from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Chris is from Great Barrington, Massachusetts. This is the opening round qualification for the 2013 PST Bettini Fuel World Open. The two qualifying rounds to get into tomorrow night's main draw. Referee choosing to have that rally replayed. I'm not sure that is the correct call in that situation. Looked like a ball down the middle that Nathan couldn't swing on, but in the referee's judgment, there was a safety situation with neither player at fault. So they replayed the rally. Nathan leading the game two games to one. Well, maybe some pure injustice at play there. Nathan takes the point and now leads three games to one. having a nice laugh actually. Chris had hit the ball straight back to himself and when the referee called to serve the ball from the left side, Chris playfully said let, knowing full well that he had lost that point.
Downtown Cleveland. Downtown Cleveland. Who is downtown Cleveland for? Downtown Cleveland. Downtown Cleveland is for. It's for the early risers. It's about being open for business. It's for people who enjoy a quick commute. I mean, my door is like just near side of Pickwick. It's for people who want to get in on the ground floor. I do. I love it. It's really convenient for somebody who's young and very busy. Downtown Cleveland. It's for the 900 dogs living down here. Downtown Cleveland. It's for the pioneers. When we first opened, we were still both a little nervous, but it's been amazing. Like, far better than anyone projected. It's been awesome. Downtown Cleveland. It's for the innovative. It's for the creative. For people who want a unique workplace. It's for people who love the sound of progress. It's for people who want to see the lake every day. It's for people who want to escape. Downtown is where the master chefs come for you. With over 70 restaurants and cafes downtown. The culinary options in Cleveland are insane. Downtown Cleveland is for It's for people who are on the go. And people who look forward to seeing a smiling face. <laughs> Impromptu meetings on the street by the thousands. It's for people who are in the business of making connections. It's for the people who share value. Community, investment, sustainability. It's for people with big ideas. For people with a bright future. Downtown Cleveland, for people who wear their pride on their sleeve. There is every reason to love Cleveland. With over 8 million visitors downtown each year. Oh, it's for people who want to have fun. It's to be enjoyed with friends. Over 1,500 performances, over a million guests coming to Playhouse Square each year. It's for the people who can't wait for the... We're back, ladies and gentlemen, courtside. Chris DeVecchio getting on court right now, gesturing to some fans in the audience. Uh, Nate Tico's been on the court for just a couple minutes uh, in a very interesting match at the end of the night in our opening qualifying bracket. Uh, referee and Chris having a few uh, exchange of words. This is our third opening round qualifying match of the day. Uh, there'll be another round of qualifying tomorrow for players who hope to get into the main draw of, of the PST Bettini Fuel World Open. Very unique tournament where two players will earn a right to compete in the PST World Championship in Detroit in a couple of weeks. This final match of the night, as often as the case, has a little bit of unusual energy. Crowd has thinned out a little bit. Nathan serving right now, up two games to love over Chris. Nathan from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Chris from Bra Barrington, Massachusetts. Chris has had a little bit of fun back and forth with the referee. Nathan takes the opening point of the game. He's 1-0, and if he can win this game, we'll win the match. Three games to love.
Jesus is like, hey, man. Turn five. Six much gold. <coughs> Chris, uh, a quick interview before you head out. Uh, it was a very unusual match. Bizarre tempo, bizarre movement, a lot of funny things in court. You and the referee had some interesting interchange. How'd you feel on court today? He clearly was paid off, and that's a problem, but he's a good man. <laughs> it was good. It was a good match. Enjoyed it. Well, good. We're thrilled to, thrill to have you back on court. Now you had a long day. I'm glad you made it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Great Barrington's Chris DeVecchio. Nate, that was a bizarre match, man. I, I, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I don't know about the match, but maybe the ref. But No, it was it was interesting game. It was good. Uh, just had to play a good length and tight and throw him off his rhythm, but it was, uh, it was good. Yeah, you've been off, off the tour for maybe a month or so, but you look, uh, we saw you in Philadelphia in January, but you look to be in good form. Yeah, I've been giving lessons and training a bit in between. Um, 
and uh, feeling good, and I'm glad I'm back, so it's good. Well, congratulations. You're on the spot in tomorrow's second round. Thanks. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Allentown, Pennsylvania is Nathan Tico. Action will begin tomorrow in our second qualifying bracket. Tomorrow night, the main draw starts. We have some afternoon matches where players looking for a... Uh, opportunity to earn a spot in the main draw. You can watch the action live on ProSquashTV.com in the 2013 Bettini Fuel World Open. Thank you very much. Have a good night.